Hello, today's Thursday, April 23rd. Today's objective is, students will read the passage, it's sedimentary. Number two, students will answer questions one through five with annotations and evidence. Number three, students will complete open-ended response using three to five sentences. Key points for today are, Number one, sedimentary rocks form when weathering erosion and deposition of sediments that are cemented and compacted in layers. Number two, sedimentary rocks form over millions of years of pressure, compaction, and cementation of sediments. The strategy that we use is rock says you only live forever. Sedimentary rock is a rock with layers. Rocks are non-living things. Rocks do not die. This is why we use this strategy. Rocks say you only live forever. The first layer is the oldest layer. The last layer is the youngest. And it all starts with weathering, erosion, and deposition. When wind, water, or ice breaks, carries, and deposits those sediments over time, those layers will be compacted and because of the heat and pressure of the compaction, those layers will be cemented, they will be glued together. And after millions of years, layer after layer being compacted and cemented, it will form sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock is a rock with layers. Here are some examples of sedimentary rock. Remember that the first step for sedimentary rock is weathering. Uh, a couple of days ago, we talked about fossil fuels. Fossil fuels need organic matter in order to be formed. Now, sedimentary rock is just a rock. It's not a fuel. But we can find these fossil fuels within sedimentary rock. As you can see in the picture to the right, one of the layers of the sedimentary rock is coal, and coal is a fossil fuel. The assignment for today is you will read the reading passage, you will do the five questions after the passage, and you will do the open-ended response. What I want you to do is get the packet, because I'm going to be reading this passage with you. While I read, you will be writing the main idea after each paragraph. After you're done with the assignment, you can go ahead and do the online assignment. But because you will have this section ready, you will only transfer the answers to the online assignment. Now I'm going to read paragraph one. While we read, you may pause the video and write the main idea after this paragraph. Remember to circle important words. On the way to school, your mom stops at the gas station and puts gas in the car. Gas burns in car engines, providing forces to move the car. Where did that energy come from? Would you believe it came from the sun? Millions of years ago, Earth looked very different than today. Oceans and swamps covered a large part of present-day land masses. Vast numbers of living creatures filled prehistoric oceans, including plant-like plankton. These plankton used sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to make energy-storing chemicals. Over many life cycles, dead plankton settled to the ocean floor. Fish, mollusks, and other marine life added their dead remains too. The dead remains still contain energy. That energy is in our oil and natural gas. But if oil came from all of these remains that settled on the ocean floor, why do we have to drill so deep to find oil? Pause the video and write your main idea. Paragraph two. Dead remains were not the only things settling to the ocean floor. Mountains and rocks break down over time in a process called weathering. Erosion by wind and water 
carry the tiny sediments to new locations. Some get carried along in rivers and streams. Ancient sediments float into the ocean. Like snow, they gently fell to the ocean floor. The sediments covered the dead ocean plants and animals before they had a chance to decay or be eaten. Layer upon layer settled, getting heavier and heavier, squishing the layers below them. The great pressure created thermal energy. The combination of pressure, thermal energy, and minerals glued the sediments together into rocks, known as sedimentary rocks. As sedimentary rocks formed, the dead remains of organisms transformed into oil. Rising through cracks in the rocks, the oil got trapped in the layers of solid rock. Those trapped pockets of oil are where humans drill. Oil and natural gas both form from the remains of ocean life. Pause the video and write your main idea. Paragraph 3. Another kind of fuel, coal, formed in a similar way. Instead of ocean life, coal comes from plants and animals that lived on land. Huge swamps were part of the prehistoric landscape. Dead trees and plants sunk to the bottom of swamps just like dead remains settled on the ocean floor. Over time, the plants partially decayed and compressed forming peat. Peat can be dried and burned for heating homes. In the same way sediments get carried into oceans, sediments can fill in swamps. Sediment layer after sediment layer compressed the peat. Pressure and thermal energy turned the peat into coal, like the dead organisms being transformed into oil in the ocean. The more thermal energy and pressure, the better the coal's quality for heating purposes. Pause your video and write your main idea. Paragraph four. Fossils are the remains or evidence of long dead living things. Fossils are often found in sedimentary rocks. Oil, coal, and natural gas formed from dead living things from long ago. That's why they're called fossil fuels. Sedimentary rock formation does not always make fossil fuels. It took just the right combination of pressure, thermal energy, and plant and animal remains to create fossil fuels. It took just the right location. It took just the right amount of sediments and it took a very, very long time to produce the vast reserves of fuel that humans depend on. Pause your video and write your main idea. The assignment for today is after you read and write your last main, main idea, you will answer questions one through five with annotations and evidence. You will also complete the writing prompt. Make sure you have at least three to five sentences. You will not receive full credit if you have less than three sentences. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.